So I bought this sausage from uh, Winco the other day. Not Winco. Food for less the other day. Oh, this new crazy mother. I was wondering like what I could or like should make. Um, my husband doesn't really eat spicy food, so I'm I'm not too sure like exactly how spicy the sausage is gonna be or not. So um, I think I'm gonna make a pasta. So I'm gonna get on Pinterest and like take a look and see um, if I can come up with some kind of recipe. But I'm kind of thinking I can mock it and maybe put like. The sausage with some peppers and like some olive oil, some kind of herbs or seasoning or something, and maybe a little bit of like a spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce, like not drenched, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna get some ideas because I'm not really sure, but I know I want to make it with noodles. Hopefully, that'll cut some of, if any, of the heat out of it. So, I went to a spa party on Sunday, um, and it was basically just advertising for, not advertising, but it was a party, um, and the consultant that was there was giving us, like, facials and allowing us to try product, um, and it was for a brand called Secret. And, um, so it's not something that I've ever tried before. Like, I'm not a huge fan of trying different stuff on my face just because I've had problem skin for a really long time and I do get acne still, like, even though I'm old. <laughs> so, um, but I've had it for a really long time. So I'm really skeptical about the stuff I put on my face. I have a bit of a regimen that at this point I've adapted and it works for me. It does what it does. And I went though anyway, and I just wanted to try some stuff. And it's got a lot of like minerals and everything from the Dead Sea, so I was really excited about that. Um, and that was on Sunday, and then like Tuesday, I noticed like all around my chin is like all broken out. And I mean, you can probably see it on the camera, like it's like super disgusting. Like I had big, huge bumps on my chin, and then some little ones too. So. I'm kind of like, was it because I tried too many products at once? Could it be like the mask that we use that's supposed to help sort of like draw out impurities? Maybe, you know, I understand that sometimes with things like that, it still will continue to draw out. And so some of that will come out in the form of new breakouts, um, you know, as it all comes out, kind of like a get better, get worse, not better, get worse before it gets better kind of thing. But um, I'm not really sure. So at this point, I'm just like, great. <laughs> like, here I am freaking, but whatever. So um, I did get my order, though, from the, I placed an order. And I was going to get two things, but then um, I ended up only getting one for right now. And then I just want to see what it does. And the products are, um, I guess I would say that they're reasonably reasonably priced for like beauty products for facial products um and for a skincare line i don't think that it's uh super over the top but i did buy some soap and um oh i guess if i would hold it the right way huh <laughs> i did buy some soap And um, she said that this one was good for like problem skin or good for like cystic acne, which is a lot of times what um, happens down here, like a lot of hormonal acne and jawline acne and cheek acne can be cystic. I don't really think I've ever had too many like cystic bumps on my forehead before. But um, she said it's supposed to be good for that. So it's minerals from the Dead Sea and this is their mud soap. So I used it 
last night and I also used some this morning. So, so far, it, the soap, the cleanser seems okay. But honestly, like, um, I've been using Cetaphil, or is that what it's called? Cetaphil? Cetaphil? I'll just show you since I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> so, typically I just use this. This is, like, the oldest stuff in the book, but I'm going to be honest, like, it's the one thing that just makes my skin feel really good when it's done being cleaned, and, you know, it tingles a little bit. It feels fresh. It doesn't over dry like it promises, and honestly, like, I have pretty sensitive skin. This doesn't break me out. And then this one... I was using it for a while, like I stopped using the Noxzema and um, I had bought this one and this is the one that I've basically been using as of recently. And the only thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't lather really well like whatsoever and it's kind of milky so when it goes on, the fact that it doesn't lather, like it makes me feel like maybe my face isn't getting as clean. And then I bought this to try not too long ago, and I was kind of like, is it going to break my skin out or not? And it didn't, um, but it's an anti-dark spot complexion bar. And I got this because I have a lot of scarring from acne on my face, and so I would really love to sort of fade some of the dark marks and like overall just tone my skin. So, um... I got this one. My problem is I need to get like a, more of a consistent facial regimen going on in order to like really see what any products are doing. <laughs> and then this is the one that I just got. And it's the mud soap. And like it's just black inside. So that's all the stuff that I typically use. Obviously not all at once. How many different soaps do you need? But they're the ones that I've tried over time that tend to do the best with my skin um, that I don't really see breakouts from that I know it's not coming from the soap. Like if I'm breaking out for any reason, usually I can tell. And I used to have this chart. It was some sort of like Asian... Um, skin chart that basically just kind of like explained where you get certain breakouts what type they are and basically like what it means for the area that they're in and I actually really liked it because then it was helpful to know that okay if I'm breaking out right in here you know it's because I've been drinking too much soda or if I'm getting breakouts right here I know that those are typically hormonal and or whatever I know if right here that means dairy or you know so just um there it was a it basically just broke down like why you get certain pimples in certain areas so um I don't know but again hopefully this stuff on my chin clears up pretty soon because I've been wearing makeup <laughs> so I was able to get him down for another nap this is his second nap today. See how you can hear how his breathing sounds so like, <laughs> like as if he's really struggling to take those breaths. But I was able to get him down for his second nap right now. Um, he usually don't take a second nap during the day, so. Uh, but I know he's sick. He needs the rest, and I know he was tired. He was really cranky, so I'm glad he fell asleep. So I was getting ready to start dinner. And this is what's going on right now. We Leave me alone. I'm just saying. Be 
quiet. Be quiet. Don't talk to me. So me and Michaela are in the kitchen cooking dinner, making some kind of pasta with sausage. So I didn't really find exactly what I was looking for on Pinterest, but I figured I already know kind of what I want to do with it anyway. So we have our sausage, a bell pepper, and all of this other stuff. Noodles, onions, tomato sauce, vinegar oil, um, olive oil. Oh, olive oil. Garlic sauce. Oh, garlic sauce. Black pepper and Italian seasoning. Oh, I can't even see that. mixture is pretty much finished. It has the sausage, red peppers, onions, some sun-dried tomatoes, and I didn't show those, but I used these. And I just put some of the spaghetti sauce on it. It smells good. <clears throat> and I think my noodles are done. So I'm going to dump those out right now. And voila, that's dinner tonight. She forgot about me. I did, I forgot Michaela was helping me and I kind of did some stuff without her help. Yeah, where are the... Let's get some plates. Dang it! But I'm tall. Gonna eat? Eat your food.